in this particular video we're going to be looking at density type questions and we're being asked to use the information that we've got to work out the mass. Now it's a hexagonal prism made of wood and the density of the wood is 0.8 grams per centimetre. That's kind of important to me because it'll help me then to work out the mass. If I look at density as a unit, what I've got is 0.8 grams. Well, grams is a measurement of mass or weight. So it's mass, okay? And centimeters is a measurement of volume. But the important thing here is this is per, so it means volume. So if we look at the units for density, it allows us to kind of figure that out. Now I'm very aware that some people are taught this whole idea to use a, a triangle and you've got something like this, so you've got triangle divided up and it'll say something like density, mass and volume. And that's absolutely fine. If you remember how to do that triangle, perfectly good. I tend to use the units that I've been given to kind of figure out what I need to do. So in other words, the density here is the information we've been given, which is 0.8. The mass is the information that we're looking for. And the volume is the information that we can find out from here because volume equals area times depth. So that's 15 times eight. So if we work that out then, we've got um, 0.8 equals mass, which is the information we're looking for, divided by 120. And if I cross multiply that, I get 120 times 0.8, which is 96. So in other words, the mass of this particular unit is actually 96 grams. Okay, I hope that's been okay for you. Uh, it's a very quick example of how we can work with density, uh, mass and volume in order to find if we've got uh, two pieces of information, we can find out the third piece. Please do add a comment below in the comments. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video. Thank you.